Things I like about it, well, it, to be honest, it's absolutely not to my taste at all. Now, and I'm actually gobsmacked. Obviously, this person likes Asian women as well. I'm, I'm sure their girlfriend or wife likes that. Uh, and every time I go past, uh, I uh, think to myself, oh dear. Now, this is actually sacrilege to this memory of mine. Hey Overclockers, I'm 8Pack, and today I'm introducing a new section called 8Pack versus Overclockers. And in this content, what I'm basically going to be doing is roasting all the marketing team's home setups, including the PCs, uh, the desks, and their entire gaming environment. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Right, okay, for system one, uh, I'm just checking out the entire uh, desk setup. They've gone for a white case, a white keyboard, but the mouse is black. It's not really uh, suiting the, the, the setup. And then they've gone for hanging the, the controllers on the wall for some unknown reason. I mean, I'm not really sure how they're supposed to play with the controllers hung on the wall. Obviously, they'd prefer that they'd be actually in the hands. Uh, and also, it looks like they've got a skateboard on the wall for some weird reason. So far, it's really not that great, but, but not that bad, I, I guess, as well. I'm not sure, honestly, why they're picking out this Anim skateboard that's on the, that's on the wall. I mean, I think I know whose system this is uh, from the pictures, because he's got a general interest in Anim, but it's not a very uh, good look at all. Uh, this picture's a more close-up on the system. And uh, to be honest, looking at the system itself, I've really got no clue why they're so keen to add so many extra fans to the system and then use the stock cooler on the CPU. I mean, uh, of course, the stock cooler is absolute garbage, yet they're adding uh, RGB fans. I mean, probably they're adding the fans for the RGB look and don't care that they're getting uh, about 50% of the performance that they paid for from the CPU. The next picture is just more of the same, this Anim theme. I mean, it's like the theme that a 12-year-old might enjoy, probably 11-year-old, maybe even a 10-year-old. You know, uh, certainly not to, to my taste or most sane people. Oh, and finally, the list of specs. Well, a Ryzen 5 5600X working at overclockers, uh, and they're running like uh, last generation, oh no, last generation and even last generation hardware. Really not putting much effort into that. If they put the same effort into uh, the hardware choices that they did into their Anim collection, they would have a far superior setup. <laughs> Uh, RTX 3070, I have to say that's not a bad choice at all in GPU. They're going to get decent frame rates. If they're playing like uh, 1080p or so, that's going to be all right, even 1440p, I, I guess. Uh, I mean, probably if they're playing, you know, the childish games related to anime or this kind of stuff, probably uh, Pokemon, all that kind of garbage, then that should be uh, no problem. How they're running uh, nine years old, uh, HDD, I've got no clue though. Things that I like about it, well, it, to be honest, it's absolutely nothing to my, not, not to my taste at all. I genuinely don't like these fishbowl style cases because of the lack of airflow. I don't like the hodgepodge color scheme around the desk. Like some items are white, some are black. Controllers are mounted on the wall. Uh, you know, skateboards mounted on the wall. Uh, and this anime theme is really not, not my style at all. I mean, uh, you know, it's, for me, it's like a little kid's styling. I, I think that's uh, Jacob who does social marketing. I think that's his system because he has all this uh, anime stuff at his desk here in Overclockers. Uh, and every time I go past, I, I uh, think to myself, oh dear. Oh my God, it's a child with Transformers this time. Seriously. Right, okay, let's start this one then. So uh, system two, I'm gonna start by taking a look at their gaming setup. Uh, they're obviously the PC is not good enough, so they need a laptop there as well uh, to play the games, which is a bit strange. And this person is also pretty damn childish as they've got a setup of Transformers, uh, etc. Uh, around. Uh, and I mean, it seems to me that the, the, the setup is so disinteresting that even the dogs uh, bored and sleep into the side of the system. I have to say, I'm not that really that impressed with the uh, RGB as well on the fans. Anyone who wants uh, fans sticking out like that uh, the, with the RGB turned on is basically looking for a light show similar to what you get on Blackpool Beach uh, around Christmas time. So, I mean, the only thing I, I guess that I like so far about this uh, setup is the, the green 
painting. I mean, I think that's uh, the, the, you know, that sets a decent background for a good system, but they haven't followed the color scheme through in any element of the, the setup at all. Uh, and really, it certainly wouldn't be to my taste. Right, let's check the actual system picture itself then. In the system, we can see here that they keep the system regularly cleaned, not. Uh, there's dust everywhere inside, which is obviously going to be impeding airflow. Right, so I guess that's the, the thing here. I mean, come on, get a cloth and clean the PC. Okay, so it's a 5600 uh, APU uh, CPU, which uh, for me, certainly wouldn't be the choice here. I'd be looking for a higher end CPU, as you know, 8-pack. But I, I guess depending on what this uh, person is doing with the, the PC, that could be all right. It's not crazy old. I mean, the limitation here is really going to be the, the clock speed, which is not that great, 3.9 uh, gigahertz. They've got a 3060 Ti OC GPU, which again is going to be all right for 1080p gaming for sure. 1440p at maximum settings, it's going to start to struggle. The, the Fantex case I like, but not how they've done the RGB setup. And then the rest of the setup there is fairly standard. So there's not really anything I can roast other than saying it's what I'd call uh, mid to low tier hardware that certainly wouldn't interest me and certainly won't, I wouldn't be rocking in my uh, gaming machines. Uh, I'm actually not sure whose that is. I, I think it could be Ed's. That's what I think. But I'm not. I'm really not sure. There's no one in the marketing office who's got like obvious like transformers on the desks or all this kind of thing. Uh, I mean, it could be Ed's because he's got. A, they've got a laptop and maybe he's doing some video editing on his laptop, or maybe he's transferring files to his laptop, all that kind of thing. And also, he's always complaining that his PC at home is no good for video editing. So. Obviously, he's bought a spec there that's absolutely terrible for video editing, even though he's a video editor. Okay, so uh, this next one, I'm actually quite into audio, so I appreciate that they've got, uh, you know, uh, a, I would say a decent set of speakers and a decent amp, etc., etc., to drive. However, I'm pretty sure that the manufacturer of those speakers didn't recommend that you stand beer bottles on the top of them uh, to get the best sound quality out of them. In fact, I'd suggest that those beer bottles are going to be resonating and you're probably losing about three or four hundred quid with the performance just by standing them on, on top of there. Also, the porcelain cat is not a good touch on top of such quality speakers and I certainly wouldn't advise that. Where, where's the keyboard and mouse? I mean, you know, why would you have a PC without a keyboard and mouse? I don't even uh, see that. The rest of the system, because the the into audio, and I'm quite into audio, I, I actually quite like. I think uh, the where the machine is is not looking too ugly. Uh, everything's not looking too ugly. Although the position of the machine does look like the airflow could be quite poor, especially as the front looks to be up against a solid piece of. Uh, MDF or whatever's making the cupboard, it's pretty much up against the solid MDF. Uh, so in summer, that'll be a nice hot box there for the hardware to limit everything and probably end up with the GPU throttling. And also, I, I'm not sure why the speaker is so close to the door either. Can the can the door even open without dinting the side of the speaker? Obviously, this person likes Asian women as well. I'm, I'm sure their girlfriend or wife likes that. Looking at the actual internals of the PC, this isn't built too badly and certainly doesn't have much hideous RGB. However, you've built it all to look nice and blacked out or struck monochrome, and then you've got a big red circle on the CPU cooler. This is a serious no-no for me. Why not just switch that off and, and you've actually completed a decent uh, job on building a system where it's not in your face and you do not look like you were a 12 year old when constructing it. But otherwise, that's actually not that bad. I mean, let's check the spec. So they've got a Liang Li uh, Air Mini, which obviously the, the, it's pointless the name Air because it's like basically up to a, a front piece of uh, wood at the front and it's basically pushed into a hot box. So that'll be actually the Liang Li Hot Air Mini 2080 Ti. I mean, they're years old now, so I, I now understand why he's got a TV. The GPU is not even good enough for a monitor. I can under, absolutely understand that. And here is used 32 gigabytes of Corsair Dominant Platinum. I actually quite like that memory. I quite actually like the style of the memory, but God knows why he's left that red ring on the fan uh, inside. Now, this system, I actually don't know who it is. I think it is uh, the other Jacob, the 
brand executive guy. I mean, I don't know him well, but out of the people that I do know above, um, I doubt they would have the system. So, so this setup here actually is actually pretty good. Pretty, I have to be honest, not because you're here, but this is actually pretty good. It's, it's, there's not too much like RGB that's not in line with the color scheme. The, the setup, uh, I think, is, is aesthetically what kind of what I would uh, choose. Even I'm into like uh, tropical fish and stuff, so I have a fish tank as well. I mean, the speakers are a bit small compared to the monitor, but I think they're going to do a, a good enough job. I can't really say that much about the look of this system from this picture. It looks it looks pretty decent, to be honest. I'm not sure what those lights are to the right of the monitor, though, these hexagonal things. Yeah, the, even the wheel looks good. I can't I can't really say say much about this. I mean, I mean, uh, I'm now looking at the picture of the actual system. Hall, the Hall of Fame cards I I I do like, and and this white monochrome color scheme everyone knows I do like. The only thing I can really say about this is that the it's a bit bright kind of thing. Like everything is white, yeah, but it's like really white. I mean, it's like a set of cricket whites or something like that, or. A, a seeing board at cricket where it's just like white glaring in your eyes almost like you want you you know you've been interrogated because of the system or something but otherwise this is the for sure the best one uh, that i've seen the cable the cables are pretty neat doesn't look dusty or dirty only white leds yeah i can't i can't really cuss this too much to be honest but let's check the spec i might be able to Judging by the spec, the cut, the, you know, the case is okay. It's got decent enough airflow. Uh, the motherboard is is quite old now, and the CPU is only four core. It's everything around the system has been really neat. Everything looking really good, but you've got like hardware that's uh, over five years old now, and certainly not going to be pushing those racing games to crazy high frame rates. And uh, will certainly be gimping what is a theoretically a decent GPU in the 2080 Ti. That's yours, obviously. I mean, it's Br Brian is. Right, so system five, dual monitor setup. Well, it's not too bad, I have to say. I mean, I'm not too keen on the design on the mouse mat, in all honesty. It's uh, a bit like 1970s hippie style. I mean, obviously the MDF desk's not ideal either. From that particular picture, this is not too bad a setup. Right, let's check this. All right, well, there's a lot to be said here. The uh, RGB on everything is absolutely terrible and it's not really set, well, it is set to a color, but everything's not synced up properly. Uh, and also here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six additional fans. No, seven, eight, nine additional fans. And then they're using a stock air cooler. Why would you have so many fans unless you are A, obsessed with fans or had a fetish for fans or B, loved RGB. And whichever way you're going, that is just strange. Uh, then, of course, we've got to point out this uh, cable management system that's gone in place here, or should I say lack of cable management. Uh, those particular braided cables do come with cable comb, so why they haven't been used, I've got absolutely no idea. Uh, the cables look as if they've been uh, you know, put in by probably a five or six year old and just slotted in like a Lego Meccano set rather than any kind of, uh, you know, established theme to the cables. And why anyone would be so obsessed by the look of the system as in it looking like a light box and then done the cable in so badly, I have no idea. The GPU there, it's uh, as saggy as an 80 year old who's not wearing a bra. Let's check another one of the pictures here for a bit more. Ah, well, from this angle, it certainly doesn't look uh, quite as bad. That's primarily because it's so bright, you can't even see the cables and uh, the reflections in the system are actually so terrible. I've noticed also here that they haven't even bothered to install the heatsink on the NVMe drive at the bottom, which will obviously mean that probably that NVMe drive is gonna be throttling. I've not really much more to say about this than what I said about the other picture, to be honest, because it's just the RGB is just overpowering and it's causing so much reflections from this angle, you cannot see uh, properly what's going on. Take a, take a closer look at the memory. <laughs> They've used mixed memory. I couldn't even see those are the sticks of memory for the RGB. So on to the spec now, and I'm actually gobsmacked. This person has chosen to combine two eight gigabyte, st gigabyte sticks of GQL Trident memory, which I could actually see in the system, 
and two times 16 gigabyte of eight pack team group 3600 megahertz memory together. Now this is actually sacrilege to this memory of mine. How dare they put it in with lower capacity, lower performing, lower frequency dims. How the hell are they hoping to get this stable at the top frequency? Uh, and, and also, because of the different ring capacities, the CPU will not be working correctly in uh, a dual, dual channel configuration. The, the CPU itself, obviously, that's probably almost a decade old now, and I certainly won't be using a CPU like that to push any uh, frames. And it's probably holding back uh, the 3070 uh, Strix GPU, which has definitely got potential given uh, a decent CPU and obviously a correct memory configuration. Really, this is just like, I'm destroyed about how my memory has been used in this way. That's 3600 uh, C16 memory, uh, and they're packing it up with uh, some 3200 eight gig DIMMs. This person obviously does need a, a lot of storage. They've got uh, two uh, different NVMe drives. Obviously, I could only see the one without the heatsink in the picture. Uh, and then they've got uh, two HDDs as well. I mean, HDDs, why do you not just get one large capacitor? In fact, why don't you just get, uh, you know, uh, an SSD to improve your performance? Oh, three SSDs as well, I haven't even read down there. What kind of a uh, media or whatever is this guy keeping? I mean, I can only speculate on what kind of stuff this person's keeping on all this storage. I mean, you know, uh, on this uh, kind of channel, I cannot really go into detail about what I suspect they might be keeping on there, but, you know, uh, did we notice any tissues in the pictures earlier? I didn't see any. Uh, and then we've got nine uh, cooler disaster Halo fans, which are exactly as I just described them, complete disasters. They're making a complete mockery of the entire build. Uh, the Leon Lee Minute, that's a decent case, but it hasn't been used in a decent way here. I reckon actually that this might be Ed's because Ed is so stupid to rock two different sets of memory in the same uh, PC. And then he's got all the storage for all those uh, videos. He watches and videos he makes. This has been the first episode in a new series called the uh, 8-Pack versus Overclockers. Today, I've been roasting some systems owned by our marketing team here at Overclockers. Now, if you wanna send in your system to get the full roasting treatment, please do using the hashtag RoastMySystem on Overclocker's Twitter page. Thanks for watching, and of course, as always, stay strong.